What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're checking out the new Vehicle Legends update. Recently we've been seeing a lot of new stuff from Vehicle Legends and honestly I'm all about that. It's super cool to see that the game is finally starting to get more updates. I've also noticed a lot more activity over on the Twitter side of things so it's looking like things are definitely coming to Vehicle Legends. This is a game that I always try to check out whenever something new gets added and this is actually really exciting. So I think it was over a year ago when Vehicle Legends first came out and when they did, they had this thing called the Boost Truck. I did a couple of videos on it, and uh, I think it inspired some other games to also do a Boost Truck. Now, this truck was super expensive and not something a lot of people actually end up getting, but now we have a more affordable but similar Boost Car. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, we have the new Boost Car. Cobra Classic is back for a limited time. New collectible credit coins around the map. They respawn every four hours. So I guess there's new stuff around the map to go find and hunt down, but uh, the main thing is obviously going to be this new boost car. I've already seen the model and it looks really, really cool. Um, let's take a quick look here. It is $7.5 million for this vehicle, but check this out guys. We've got like these little jet engines on the back of this thing. And uh, like I said, like the first ever boost vehicle was actually this right here, the, uh, the boost truck. This was like 60 mil, yeah, 60 mil, 1,000 mile per hour top speed, zero to 60 in 0.4 seconds. This thing is pretty cool, not gonna lie, but now we have this, which is still ridiculous, 293 mile per hour top speed and zero to 60 in two seconds. So still completely ridiculous, but let's go ahead and purchase it. And uh, yeah, let's see how this thing works. And it looks like other people are also buying the Cobra as well. So that is definitely one of my favorite models. Uh, I hope she doesn't mind. I'm just going to hop in here real quick. <laughs> Look at this model. We've got a, a manual shifter, a radio. Like they actually put in a lot of work and detail. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's grab the new boost car here. I actually really like this model. I like that Vehicle Legends does this where they make every single car unique. But seriously, this model is really smooth. Like this is a completely custom car just for Vehicle Legends. The rims look really nice. The back end especially, really, really nice edges and super smooth looking. Can we go into first person? Let's take a look here. Oh, there it is. We've got the Vehicle Legends logo, full carbon fiber and Alcantara steering wheel. Okay, this thing looks sick. All right, let's take it out. Oh, the backfire on the jet engines. That's so sick. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can see that again. All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> the boost looks awesome. I really like that. I want to see, though, if we can actually modify this thing. So let's go over to the shop and, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do to make this thing faster. Oh, hold on a second. I think I see some of these new coins. The collectible coins. So before we go and modify, let me see if this is a new coin. I don't know what you do with them, but, uh, yeah, this looks like it. You just collected a coin. Each coin gives you 500 credits. Oh, okay. He said collectible coin. I was assuming something else, but uh, yeah, so let's go to the customization shop. The collectible coin is really just like credits, but yeah, anyways, let's see what we can do to this car. Oh, so the mod shop is built into the dealership now. Okay, I didn't know that that's how that worked. Anyways, here we are inside of the mod shop. Uh, appearance. Let's see if we can put some cool wrap on this thing. Uh, the wraps are actually working as well, which is nice. There's a little bit of an issue, I think, from before, but I'm, I'm gonna do that. That looks okay. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna change the, uh, the main color to, like, white or green. Okay, that looks pretty alright. We'll go with that. And let's see what else we can do here. We can change headlight color. All right. Um, anyways, performance upgrades. Let's go ahead and spend an arm and a leg on supercharging. This thing's rear wheel drive. I, I feel like I should keep it that way, but I'm gonna go all wheel drive. And uh, we're gonna go for the engine four. Yeah, this thing is gonna be a beast once we're done upgrading it. Okay, some brakes, pro transmission. All right, what else do we got to do? Suspension, I mean, this thing is already pretty low. I'm not really going to do anything with that. Um, Let's get some racing tires. Sick. Okay, that should be it. And it's nighttime. Okay, so let's take this thing out. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this thing's going to work. Let's go to the racetrack and see if we can get some people to race. Holy crud. Honestly, the boost effect is so freaking nice. Definitely one of my favorite things about this car. 
Um, let's see. Is anybody doing any races right now? Let's see. Let's see. First place around the map. Okay, let's do the around the map then. Now, the cool thing about this game is you can actually just do any race by yourself. You don't actually need to wait for other people, and that is pretty cool, actually. I wonder if you'd get the same reward, because then I think players would just kind of grind it out on their own. Let's see what kind of reward we get, just playing this one on our own. The last guy got 69 seconds. Let's try to beat that today, guys. I think we can in the new boost car. Now, this is isn't a cheap car either we spent like uh seven and a half just to get it and then probably another good 250 on just modifying it so in general you know you're probably gonna spend like you know close to eight mil on this car to get it maxed out and everything but it's pretty special this is the second ever like boost car so it's pretty unique to the game and i think you shouldn't miss it if you have the money laying around but here we go here we go. I love these checkpoints. I love the design of them. This car handles really, really nicely, actually. Uh, as I almost completely slide out. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can beat the 69 seconds. We did 48 seconds. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Okay, I should have changed the rims, but you know what? This car almost reminds me of like a Hot Wheels car, to be honest with you. Super cool looking, super nice, and definitely something you don't want to miss. Desert Sky Race. Race through the desert sky track in your selection of vehicle. What? <laughs> what? Hold on, let me get into this. I uh, I don't know what this race is. I'm not familiar with it, so let's see what happens. Yo! Okay, I have not done this one before. This is cool. We're in the stunt area. Okay, that is a neat idea for, uh, for a race, for sure. Just doing it somewhere in an elevated area. Uh, <laughs> whoops, that crash was kind of bad, but yeah, no, this is cool. I like this concept. I think more games should get creative with their races, like, especially, like, Ultimate Driving. I really like Ultimate Driving, but I feel like their game could do with some, like, I don't know, creative new ideas. Like, maybe, I don't know, a race like this where you're up in the sky or something. Vehicle Legends always has creative ideas, but I think, uh, I think other games could benefit from some new creativity. All right, it's just one lap. I think we're done right about now. Okay, 51 seconds on that one. Uh, this guy went and did the highway race and got 127. I bet we can beat that. Let's see. All right, highway race. The other guy got 127. I feel like we should be able to beat that, even though I did just waste a bit of boost. Oh man, I really like the highway. Th this map, I remember when it first came out and the scale of it is really nice. Like, not sure if you guys remember when the old map was around, but it was so much smaller than this one. This one is huge by comparison. And I like all the elevation changes too. Even though it's still like a low poly design, I really like all the changes to the elevation and stuff. It definitely gives this map more, uh, more character. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay, we gotta get back there. We gotta get back there. That's definitely gonna take us a lot of time probably an extra like i don't know maybe even 10 seconds oh god okay let's see if we can beat the 127 now i'm not feeling like it's gonna be as easy we're about 50 percent the way there this is actually kind of a long race to be honest longer than i think most highway races are and it's definitely more complex because highway races are typically just like very straight very easy races to complete this one is definitely quite different Oh god, it's got so much turns. This all-wheel drive was a great idea, by the way. I think if I would have done rear-wheel drive, it probably would have sucked. <laughs> it probably would have been way too much power. Um, oh god, okay, okay, we're good. Wow, 127 is starting to seem like actually not that bad. But we are completing it at 84, so we beat it by like a good 40 seconds. <laughs> so pretty good stuff. Guys, I'm gonna wrap things up here though. I think you should get the boost car. I think it's pretty special in the game and it looks awesome. If you guys wanna see more Vehicle Legends, be sure to leave this one a big thumbs up. That being said, guys, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed and uh, hope to see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.